as I figured out, I've been sleeping a heck of a lot more because it's getting colder. And I'm actually having more restful sleep, not like waking up very lightly and trying to flip because I'm sweating in a bunch of weird places. Yeah, I'm thoroughly taking the garbage down. It got a little full and I'd been a little hesitant on taking it down. But I realized it doesn't matter if the bike key is in there. I'm not reaching my hands in there to search for it. <sighs> so, fun times. Aaron and I went out to Mamado last night and it was awkward because like all the bikes where the bikes were parked were moved into a big wall and kind of blocking the sidewalk. See, I'm just out for a walk on the island, taking the garbage down. Or I already took it down, it's back there. Uh, hitting up Pokestops for stuff. Just, Aaron and I got rid of a, a Minions quest for him. Uh, he was using rags, so it was a little awkward. He's like, I can get it done with a Minions quest with rags pretty well, but Aaron's not got quite the reaction time, so. Eh. It's still fun, as long as we play on a lower difficulty. So I'm thinking when it gets wetter out and people aren't out here like every damn day, if I could put some cleats on and run up this hill, up the back side of the skate park. I mean, it's better than no hill. It's better than running up the sheer cliff of the big bowl. <laughs> Well, I came in here. I mean, I probably could have found an easier way to get up in here. This is a little field. But, uh, the, can you guys see right there? That little walkway, there's no gravel on it anymore. That one morning I ran up it, there's no gravel on it anymore because of the wind and the rain and it's all been like cemented down into a path. And I'm like, awesome. Oh yeah, that probably should have walked in there. Easier. Look at you. I do not want to look inside that thing. <laughs> Seen way too many horror films, and it's just gonna be like, oh hey, what's inside there? <laughs> yeah, gonna have a jump scare. But there are four of them at each corner of the field. So you got that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Hmm. It's really strange because of the the absolute height of all of these floors. It just sort of floored <laughs> it. The height of the, the floors gets me. It, well, it floors me how tall some of these buildings actually are because like We're midway up the building and we're on the fifth floor There's eight floors in my building and it's this one right there It just I'm not shocked by ten floors anymore. I mean this building is One two three four five six seven eight ten Something like that? I don't know. I got a yellow gym over here. I'm gonna see, well, and the water tank. I'm gonna slap some Pokemon on. See about getting some uh, coins. And I'm gonna walk out here to this little concrete dock. Wharf. Ship. Thing. This is where the big boat was the other time. <laughs> And I'm like, I, I probably should have walked out and seen what was up. I mean, if I knew 60 people that I could all get together in one fell swoop, maybe I would want to do one of the uh, well, boat rentals. They seem pretty cool. Have a three-masted ship. Sail around about tonight. I mean, it was it seemed pretty cool. But yeah. Funny thing is, is my brain says one thing. Don't jump. Don't ever jump. 
even if it were like 90 degrees out and I knew that the water wasn't all that hot and I didn't have to worry about a tattoo, like everything. If everything was back to normal after a fashion, um, I think the only person that could actually get me to jump off this thing would be Willie. I haven't gone swimming in it. Not this. It's the same kind of body of water. I mean, I completely understand that, like, the Columbia River, the Willamette River, the Pacific Ocean are drastically different bodies of water. But, <laughs> the Iberstrand uh, and Boutenai are the different bodies of water. I mean, one's a beach, I know, but meh. So I came out here past by storm, found a little walk path. Not exactly sure how far I want to go down this path, considering these are black bear bushes and I'm wearing shorts. You know, and there's just stick of bushes all left and right. And it goes down that way. Honestly, if I had pants on, I'd probably just trek it and go and also see what that sign says. Let me see if I can find this in editing tomorrow. Uh, freeze frame at sort, maybe? We got a helicopter over up there. Like, it makes me think that it continues down, like, underneath the power line thing. Yeah, I don't have pants on in the wind here. Oh, look at that! Got a fresh batch growing. Not necessarily sure if they're going to be ready to go or not. That's the thing, it's like, oh my god, you're a football player and you're afraid of blackbird bushes? Come on. Come on. <laughs> getting a bruise, getting a scrape, doing various things that involve soreness is fine. I don't have to do it. <laughs> it was just so great because Aaron and I moved and we thought maybe things would be done. Corona. I mean, by storms, I still, still got through September for nice weather. Man, that smells real good. I have to figure out what the whole deal with that is. There's some heavy barbecue smell coming out of there. I mean, Christ, with all this wind, do you think people will be out land sailing right now? Like, look at this hair! Huh. Eh, there's some people showing up. I just don't know if I want to wait here and wait for them to get ready. They're just chickens right there. Didn't even realize that. Walked by here before, didn't even see them. I don't know why. I'm not even that surprised that I didn't notice them. I mean, Christ, I went out to Mountain and had to like detour because sheep were in the bike path. <laughs> and not just like grown sheep, not ewes, not rams, like lambs, like little baby sheep. I don't know. Just out walking. Like I said, Aaron and I did a lot on Heroes of the Storm. Uh, after he got done making the pancakes, I think I think I'm just gonna foot down and say, "Hey, let's get some Takamundo, and we'll f watch more uh, Lucifer." Got the first eight episodes of season five. I saw a review that was like, "Oh well, Lucifer's not gonna last long if it's gonna keep up with its old style." I'm like. Keeping up with its old style, I understand shows need to evolve, but <laughs> Lucifer had something real good going, and so far, after three episodes, we're Aaron and I are loving this thing. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't know, we like it. Uh, one character new to this season, bit weird. Um, we 
but yeah, I mean, gotta happen somehow. I would've been wondering where his fucking ass is at. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you don't deal with God and Lucifer and all the various celestials without dealing with that guy. I mean, in terrain and hell, he's a big dumb brute with a big dumb sword. Like, but it's like, it's one of those swords he can like hold his hand out and throw it to him. Um, he doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> like, he went to go strike down the devil in terrain and hell, and he like almost cracked the world open. He didn't know what he was doing. He was just so ragey. <laughs> and it really wasn't the world, it was heaven, but more of an inside of a sphere than uh, outside of a sphere. Still real awkward. Well, not much we're doing now. i just like to show you guys that. It's the water tower. This is one of the staircases on the inside. So, stairs there, but yeah, no stairs up. So, I can only go up the one thing. Here's the thing. Can't open the gate. Got barbed wire on the top. I mean, I completely understand if you don't want to get in, but it kind of sucks that you can't get out either. It's a dangerous hazard there.